The intent of this video is to discuss the World War II combat effectiveness of the B-29 bomber's radar-controlled tail turret guns. Late in the war, deliveries of a specially modified B-29B model were starting to be delivered to Guam. The B-29B models were built by Bell in Georgia. The B-29B models were modified to remove all armament except an APG-15 radar-controlled tail turret. Bomber Command intended to adopt these models for nighttime bombing missions where the B-29 models would have additional speed and bomb carrying advantage over the conventional heavily armed B-29s. The B-29B models also incorporated advanced APQ-7 Eagle radar for bombing and navigation. Pneumatic bomb bay doors were adopted to increase bomb bay door open-close cycle times. An engine fuel injection system replaced the carburetor system. The tail turret incorporated three Browning 50 caliber machine guns. The interceptor tracking radar system weighed 125 pounds. It consisted of a radar housed in a spherical radar ball attached to the tail turret. The radar moved with the turret and projected a 20 degree cone. The radar could track and lock on to a rear attacking interceptor. The tail gunner's pedestal gun sight was modified to work with the radar system. A small radar scope was attached to the pedestal gun sight. This May 1945 page outlines how the tail gunner would use the radar. Once the radar has locked onto a target, the gunner would set the interceptor's wingspan on the pedestal gun sight, depress the action switch, push either trigger when the target is in range. The gunner does not track or frame the target with the gun sight. The radar will send the appropriate range and tracking information to the parallax computer to calculate a ballistic solution for the tail turret guns. The Japanese fighters typically attack the B-29 bomber from the rear during nighttime bombing operations. This April 1945 declassified intelligent report chart shows the direction of the attack during nighttime missions. Of the 231 nighttime attacks, only 12% were from the nose. 60% of the nighttime attacks were from the tail. The Japanese interceptors have also been reluctant to attack the bombers at night. The preference for nighttime tail attacks is likely due to the Japanese interceptor's vectoring system, which directs the fighters towards the tail of the formation. This June 1945 declassified intelligence report documents a debrief of a Japanese pilot POW regarding nighttime bomber attack tactics. The POW indicated they were taught to attack the B-29 at night from the rear. Laboratory testing showed the APG-15 tail radar to be vastly superior to the conventional optically sighted tail gun system. This January 1945 declassified memo recommends that all night bomber B-29s be equipped with the tail radar. Tail gunner accuracy is expected to increase by 300 to 400 percent. The system will also be valuable for tail gunners during daylight missions as the radar can see through vapor trails. This declassified March 1945 memo updates the previous January memo and recommends that all B-29s be fitted with the APG-15 tail radar, not just those on nighttime operations. The memo also directs a third 50 caliber machine gun be adopted for all B-29 tail turrets. This July 1945 intelligence report discusses the first mission of the 315th Wing, which flew the B-29B models. The first bombing mission of the B-29B model was during the night of June 26, 1945. The target was the Yutsub oil refinery. 35 B-29B models were deployed for a nighttime mission at an altitude around 15,000 feet. Seven enemy aircraft were observed, but none attacked. The after-mission summary chart is shown here. The post-mission tactical report gunnery section indicated that APG-15 equipment malfunctions are extremely high. This chart outlines the six bombing phases of the B-29 bombers. The 315th wing flew the B-29B models a total of 15 missions from June 1945 through August 1945. 
All of the missions were at night, medium altitude, and against high-priority Japanese oil installations. The 15-mission summary page is shown here. A map of the targets is shown here. On July 19, 1945, the 315th Wing was deployed to bomb the Nippon Oil Company. The Tactical Mission Gunnery Report section of that mission is shown here. 37 of the 84 APG-15 radar systems malfunction. Luckily, no enemy fighters attacked the 315th Wing during this mission. An investigation of the radar failures revealed that the radar, once airborne, would lose its calibration and would malfunction. The radar also had difficulty in locking onto targets or locked onto the wrong target. The 315th wing only defensive armament was a tail turret. If the tail turrets failed, the bomber's only defense would be to take evasive action. The tail radar system was never credited with shooting down an interceptor. Bomber Command had had enough. The system may have worked well under laboratory conditions, but was ineffective in the field. In this July 18, 1945 record sheet, Bomber Command issued an order not to install or retrofit the APG-15 radars on any new or existing aircraft except for the 315th and 316th replacement wings. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.